Well, hello everyone, I'm Peaches from Lovers for Healthy Life, and I want to welcome you to my channel. Well, today I'm going to take a little walk out to my winter garden, show you an update on what's growing out there. Now, I'm also going to uh, show you what I've been doing to uh, kind of get into the Christmas spirit. It's been a little hard this year with different things that are going on in the world, but I want to show you what I've been doing to kind of get um, everything going and get everyone into the Christmas spirit. Uh, but um, what I've decided to do was just take it room by room and I started with my um, fireplace mantle because that's the room that we have a lot of family time in. It's warm and it's cozy this time of the year. So I want to show you um, some uh, quick easy decorating ideals uh, for the fireplace mantle. And um, later on in the week I'm going to be participating in a collab. Um, with um, Adrian from Crafty Mom and I'm going to uh, be doing a centerpiece for my kitchen table so I'll take you along and show you how I uh, did that so if you want to come along with me as we take a little tour in my winter garden well hello everyone I'm out here in my fall garden and I have a couple of beds and growing here and what we here. have here growing up is some Tom Thumb lettuce I guess the lettuce looks like a little thumb it actually really does look like a little thumb um, the way the leaves grow here. So that's growing pretty good. We've had some cold winter nights and my manzuna, my green manzuna is doing really well. Um, I already harvested some of this so it just uh, keeps giving here in the fall. I didn't know it was actually a fall crop but it's doing pretty good. And then my red lettuce is just now starting to come up. If you can see the tiny little baby leaves there. My butter crunch lettuce is doing pretty good. And we've had some temperatures drop below uh, 35 degrees, I do believe. And in this uh, circular bed, I have arugula that I planted over the summer, and it's still doing pretty good. And then I threw in some Swiss chard, and I threw the seeds in pretty late, but I am happy to see some of them are starting to germinate, the tiny little seeds. You see that right there. And in this uh, circular raised bed is my Chinese red mustard. And it's doing really well. The leaves are really big. You see the size of my hand compared to the leaves. So I'm so happy that my uh, Chinese red mustard is doing really good. And looks like the dinosaur kel that is planted in between the rows is starting to do pretty good as well. And I also planted some right there in the middle. Hopefully that will do really well for me throughout uh, the, the winter and through uh, the uh, summer months as and well. And I really love growing my greens this time of the year because you have less infestation of the little critters, less moths, less bugs, so I'm just happy about that. And this Chinese red mustard actually has a really good flavor. Let me pick one of these. Pretty clean, it's organic, so I'm gonna try one of these here. So the Chinese red mustard has a little bit of a milder flavor than the regular uh, green mustard. And over here I have my elephant garlic that's starting to come up, so I'm really happy to see the little green uh, shoots uh, sticking up there. Because I thought I had plant planted it a little late, but looks like it's gonna be doing really well for me, so I'm happy about that. And I covered them up with um, pine. There's some right there sticking up. So yeah, this whole entire bed is my elephant garlic. And over here, I planted my California late garlic and it's already starting to come up as well. And in this bed, I just threw in some late seeds. I threw in turnip seeds and some curly kale. My holiday decoration started with doing my mantle because this is one of my favorite places to come in my house is to sit right by the fireplace during the winter months. It's nice and cozy and warm and toasty. So what I did, um, the garland actually I got on sale at half off. These glass vases basically were just plain and I just added the little gold and red Christmas decor balls. And then I used hot glue to make the top or right there at the top. And I just glued it to the vase. And this vase right here in the middle, I just added the 
Christmas ornaments to the container and then topped it off with a flower. I'm wishing everyone a safe and prosperous Christmas and a happy new year.